What is up, YouTube? I am Galadite74, your coach of the Calgary Flamethrowers, and in today's video, I will be showcasing to you guys week five of the CGT, or as my opponent calls it, the COG. My opponent this week is none other than an admin in this league, Dr. Slacking slash Matt, coach of the Forest Green Snovers. He has personally been one of my favorite content creators in the entire Pokemon community as of late. I rate him very highly as a coach and an entertainer, even if he is like all cracked out of his mind in his videos or whatever it is, he is still very good at the game. So, and he's just really nice too. So please go check out his YouTube. It is linked in the description below, as well as the CGT Discord and my personal Twitter. I highly recommend you go check out all that. Before I get into the team builder, I'm going to try and speed run through this video. I wanna give you guys some background knowledge to what's been going on behind the scenes. Uh, this battle and my battle versus Aquarius, I have been pretty uncomfortable with, mainly because I, I've been pressed for time. I've been very busy because of college and I had to like, you know, I go to class, whatever, and I come home, but then I got to worry about a whole bunch of other different things involving that. I joined the Overwatch team, the B team, for my college, and I spent a lot of time within the past week and a half uh, committed to that. So that took out a lot of time in Mons. So that's why in this battle, and again, the one last week you guys saw, I was really pressed in not only making the videos go out, but for actually prepping for the game. I know I won versus Aquarius spoilers last week, but it didn't really feel good. Even if I didn't get any hacks in that game and I won fair and square, I still wouldn't have felt right about it just because of how uncomfortable building has been recently. And that's just because of how busy I've been. The reason I'm mentioning this is because that team unfortunately had to disband and that news happened just a few hours ago. So my battle next week versus Shuckle King and on forwards might be a lot more normal because A, I'm not battling on Thursdays anymore. I'm refusing to do that. And I'll have the extra time back that I wouldn't have had if I was a part of that team. Uh, video quality would have been the first thing to suffer. Honestly, I don't think this video is going to turn out too bad, but behind the scenes, it's been very hectic. Uh, a little bit of a longer intro, but I really thought it'd be important to let you guys know that just in case, you know, whatever video production was different. So that's it. I'm going to speed run through this team builder now because I don't, I just want to get through it. Uh, let's go through Matt's team. It is Garchomp, Heatran, Kamo, Tyranitar, Alakazam, Rotom Wash, Crobat, Whimsicott, Bufalant, Maractus. That is the squad Matt has for this season. And the first thing I'm going to say, and I don't want Matt to take this the wrong way, this team as a team, I don't like. I don't think it's that great. Prepping for this, luckily, because I was pressed for time, still wasn't too bad because this team does have a lot of holes in it that made prepping quite easy. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to have an easy time because A, this team can still do things, of course, and B, Matt is a very good battler, as I had mentioned earlier in this uh, video here. Plus, he's got some comfort picks, notably the Whimsicott. It's like his favorite mon in the world. I freaking hate Whimsicott, but uh, when you put a mon that could be whatever and put it in the hands of someone who knows how to use it, it's going to do things. So I do have to prepare for this thing. For my particular build this week, Alakazam and Crobat are actually pretty decent against it. Uh, a setup guard chomp could be a little bit annoying depending on when he uses it, how he uses it, and when. So that is something I have to look out for. And just hyper offense can kind of break through my team this week. So that's what does make this matchup a little bit scary. That if I'm really caught with my pants down, if he brings a whole bunch of setup and uh, like specs, scarf, and banded mons, that could be quite scary. Uh, but luckily he can't go too bulky because frankly his team can't just do that uh, He does have good pivots. So that is something I do also have to play around in this game And he has been known to come up with some interesting and really good strategies to counteract some things 
I know he loves Encore and Whimsicott. Uh, Crow Alakazam, like late team Sash, has been using it as a reliable win con, and he's been doing it really well. So those are notable notes in regarding his team. Uh, the team I'm bringing, the goal is to kind of pivot around and get Conk in. If I can get Conk in for free, it kind of just claims a kill. Do have to be careful with what moves I click, but otherwise it just looks stupid good early game. And then Latios can kind of clean up late game once a few things are chipped down a bit, like the T-Tar. Maybe if Zam is Sash, it's broken. Stuff like that. Uh, but that's the game plan. Just get Conk in and pivot around and maybe save some of my defense for late game. That is uh, his team. Looking at my team, it consists of Corviknight, Conkelder, Vileplume, Rotom Heat, Swamper, and Latios. We are about six minutes in, so I'm going to try and just pace through this. Corviknight is first. This is Bulk Up, Brave Bird, U-Turn, and Roost. Bulk Up's not a priority, U-Turn is, so that's why it was okay on this build. This really just hard walls his low tiers, and even stuff like Alakazam and Kumoo. Uh, Alakazam needs to have like Zap Cannon in order to touch me, which, you know, knowing Matt, I wouldn't even put it past him to bring that. Uh, but I did mention that Crobat and Whimsicott were quite annoying for my team, and Corviknight can come in on both and just get some free momentum, which is kind of the goal with this set. I really wouldn't be shocked if I used this pretty early to do that. Uh, could open up the door for Garchomp later in the game, but if I can claim enough uh, lives early, then it won't really matter at that point. So its main goal is to pivot around and wall certain things if they come. And it's got Rocky Helmet too for any contact moves. Uh, T-Tar, Crunch, and like Crobat was like mainly it. Next is uh, the Conkelder. This is a pretty offensive set with Drain Punch, Ice Punch, Knockoff, and Mock Punch. Ice Punch is a very good neutral ground play in this game, as his Ice Punch resists don't take fighting moves. Like Heatran's not taking a, a Drain Punch well. Uh, Rotom Wash I don't really think is a great switch into Conk. I guess if they're predicting Ice Punch, they can do that, but I don't think it's great. And then everything else just gets, you know, wiped by it. Knockoff's a pretty nice uh, spammable move as well, but fighting is so good because Alakazam is not a fighting switch in, and Whimsicott's not a fighting switch in. I don't care what anyone says, it is not. Crobat is, but again, one Ice Punch later, then it doesn't, it just dies. Like, Ice Punch in the Mog Punch guaranteed kills a non-invested Crobat. So that was a calc that I kind of liked here. And I just kind of split the fences. Speed was for no speed something that I don't remember. So, that's Conk. Very important mon in this game. Bileplume is next. Pretty defensive, and I have Moonblast on this set. I wanted Moonblast versus the Urshifu team, and I didn't bring it and kind of regretted it. So here I'm bringing it for the Komoo and the Garchomp. Bulletproof does not block Moonblast, so that was worth it in my eyes. And Giga Drain would only be there for the Rotom Wash. And I don't see a world where Rotom Wash is ever staying in on a Vileplume. So I think that was a fine set to bring here. Uh, Lead Sheet Strength Sap, just so I can somewhat do something to the Heatran. Uh, Lead Sheet's pretty nice in this game, as only Heatran, only uh, Whimsicott's not affected by it, and I guess Maractus, and Vileplume just destroys them too. So uh, it's uh, it's pretty spammable in my eyes, <laughs> and Strength Sap is there to stay healthy. Uh, it's a great switch into his low tiers as well, but also for stuff like the Komo and the Chomp, as well as Rotom. It's it does similar things to the Corv, but it doesn't pivot. So I could save one for late game, one for early game, and it'd be all okay. Rotom Heat is next. This is uh, Dual Stab, Will-O-Wisp, Disarming Voice Offensive. Uh, this was thrown on the team five minutes before the game because, again, rush for prep. And this is what I ended up with. Rotom's really scuffed in this game because Garchomp walls the hell out of it. But every other Mon, it's pretty good against. Mold Switch Spam is really nice because, again, if I can get Conk in, it's going to go crazy. This is also a nice pivot into Heatran. I decided this over another Mon on my team just because this dealt with Heatran while the other one didn't. I don't remember. Maybe it was Rabombi. I don't quite remember. But point being, Rotom Heat is here. 
Disarming Voices for the Komodo, I don't see myself clicking it. It was just an emergency move I needed to put on here. And uh, yeah. Next is Swampert. This is mixed defense with a little bit more defense. Rocks, Toxic, Flip Turn, Ice Punch. Again, this is just momentum in the comp. That's just the whole point of this build. Uh, I have Ice Punch over EQ because I wanted a way to touch the Whimsicott and Maractus as well as the Crobat. And EQ was only there for Heatran because Water and Ground hit the same thing super effectively in this matchup. And I thought the momentum was worth it, like more. Plus I have Toxic for, you know, whatever reason I might need Toxic for. Finally, we have Latios. This is Assault Vest Offensive. Very good in this game. I have to be very careful of like Scarf Chomp or Scarf T-Tar, which I don't think even comes. Scarf Kamo'o, uh, stuff like that. Assault Vest is so I can tank a hit from Heatran and hit it back with some R-Spheres. Uh, tank hit from Zam because Zam is looking pretty scary. Rotom Wash. Uh, this is more of an offensive mon than defensive, but AV does allow me to take a hit if I absolutely need to in this game. So that is the Lottie set meant to clean up. And that's going to wrap it up for this team builder. I said I was going to speed run, but we're over 10 minutes. Eh, it's whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed the team builder. I'm sorry that this has been kind of hectic th this week. Again, next week shouldn't be as bad, though there still might be a little bit of a rushiness to it. But hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the game. All right, here we are in the game. Good luck, have fun to Matt. This is going to be a very exciting one, as I can see here. Uh, there's no Crobat, that is a big shocker, and what else didn't come? No Rotom, wow, okay, I thought that was definitely coming. Uh, so this was not what I was expecting, the, the team that he has brought. Uh, I'm kind of okay with this, though. It could be better, it could be worse, it could be a lot worse, though. So uh, I will say this was one of the most rushed battles I think I've ever had in terms of prep. Uh, remind me, please screw at me to not schedule my battles on Thursday because I built today, and I don't like building and battling in the same day because it doesn't let me digest the matchup fully. Uh, I'm going to leave with Corv, I think. Uh, if it's a Heatran lead, that really sucks, but outside of a Heatran lead, I'm cool with anything else, as I can spend the rest of the time marking things down. Um, but yeah, uh, the good thing is I have a really good game plan I've had since like I just scouted the matchup, and I think the, the way I kind of built this team was fine, like the core pieces. It was just the building blocks and supporting that was a little shaky because I didn't really have time to look at the niche things and all that stuff. But yeah, we're locking Corv. Again, good luck, have fun to Matt. Uh, this was one of the most battles I was looking most forward to going into this season. So I'm glad we are finally at that point. All right, I think I got everything. Cool. So yeah, Heatran lead would be really bad, but everything else I don't care about. So let's hope that's not a thing. Heatran's not that great against my team. Uh, if he leads it, I'm assuming it's just a rocks lead. I don't think he'd lead it turn one and like have like specs eruption. He could. I don't know. I could be wrong. That's going to be the uh, Kamo. That's a fine lead for me. As I'm going to simply just, I think, U turn out. I could also Brave Bird. Uh, and pressure, yep. Uh, let's think about this as it takes a second to load. Uh, I'm either Brave Birding or U-Turn. Brave Bird's just not terrible, to be honest. The only good switch in is Chomp, maybe Heatran. If I U-Turn, I can pivot out into something like the Conk, which Conk's health's kind of nice in this game, won't lie. Uh, let me... Let me just... Let me Brave Bird once, and then I'll U-Turn, because I feel like he might just go for rocks here. If he goes into Heatran, it's fine. They Flamethrower. This will do a lot, but this should not kill me. That does so much damage. That does uh, three-fourths of my health, and I might lose my core really early. As that is going to take a lot in return. I'm going to live. Cool. That's important that I live that. So you are special, as I kind of thought you would be. You did almost... You might be Specs. Choice specs. That's specs. Okay. So you're locked in the flamethrower. I'm going to save this as a sack. 
And I think I'm going, not Lottie, because just in case he's not, I'm pretty sure he specs, like 95% sure. Uh, Swampert or Rotom I go here. I like the idea of Swampert, because Swampert's not crazy important in this game. So we'll do that. And then I can see how I want to play this out. Uh, losing Corpse Health really sucks. Uh, that Alakazam might be an issue, and I didn't really think about that. So yeah, they just flamed there again, that's whatever. Uh, they shouldn't do too much. Nope. Uh, this could be a chance to get up rocks. Uh, the removal's Whimsicott. And that's kind of it. Uh, I really like the idea of just doing that. So let's 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 go for rocks. Uh, there again, I didn't I didn't really like prioritize rocks too too much in this game, but they, again they're pretty nice for chipping down like stuff like the Heatran and the uh, Titar. Uh, Titar is just I willing. I just got to chip it down. I have a conk too. Uh, we DC cool. Okay, so we'll be back. All right, we are back, and like I said, I'm just gonna throw up rocks. Uh, not the crazy most important, but these this is really free in theory. I could have flipped turn, but because I already clicked rocks, I'd rather just do this. They go out into storm, which is the whimsicott. Uh, so yeah, definitely wouldn't have been a bad play there. Uh, but this is fine too. I do get my rocks up. This is the only defogger, uh, so we'll see if this has it. Uh, I could try and go into Corve and roost up, uh, but I don't like that play. So let's Vile Plume. Vile Plume's decent. Um, Vile Plume's actually pretty decent as a switch in here. I could also go Rotom, but I think I like Vile Plume a bit more. Only because the Heatran is their best way to handle it. And uh, rocks are up. And I have a full health Swamper and a Rotom. So I have options for that thing. So I'm cool with going out into this Mon here. I guess if they, they do have Defog. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, I want a Leech Seed. But if they go Azam, then that's a bit of an issue. I could also Sludge Bomb. If they go Heatran, that's also an issue. I think I want a Sludge Bomb, because if they go Tran, I just have a free switch. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's Sludge Bomb. If I can catch the Alakazam for huge damage, that would be really nice. And um, I get nothing on their team really likes handling this. Uh, they hard withdraw. They're going to go out into uh, whatever this is. Okay, Heatran. So Leech Seed would have been <clears throat> the better play. But again, letting this in wasn't... A big deal it's just a little bit annoying so I'm gonna switch out uh, Rotom or Swampert um, which what's better against Zan basically <laughs> now I'm gonna go Swampert because I can flip turn on that and get momentum which is something I kind of want here uh, if they double that's a good play which wouldn't be shocked they could also just get their own rocks up uh, as they're going to toxic that's fine and they're gonna miss I'm sorry about that uh, I'm gonna flip turn this time. Uh, I, I realize that rocks are nice, but I shouldn't, you know, whatever, right? I'm just gonna flip turn. And then if they go Whimsicott, I can go like Rotom or something. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, if they go Whimsicott, I go Rotom, and I think I Will O Wisp. Yeah, they do that. I think that's the play I'll make. I could also go Corf. Uh, how much are you doing to me? I'm at 23 health. I'm at 12%. Uh, I'm going to die to a Moonblast, I think. Uh, so I'm going to go Rotom here. And, uh, because, like, I could use, I'd rather use Corv as a sack than just sending it out there and hoping I'd live a Moonblast, which I probably won't live. Uh, granted, if there are no special attack, maybe, I'd, I think I might have lived, actually, It's a roll. Uh, there are leftovers. And I think I just Will-O-Wisp. Uh, yeah. I don't see an issue in doing that. I, I have a feeling they're going to stay in and do something. They're a U-turn. Okay, that's fine. Uh, if they go Heatran, that is annoying, but it's not really a big deal. Uh, would they go Heatran on a Rotom Heat? They could. Best case scenario, they go Garchomp. Uh, because Kamo is special, it's not... I don't have a great switch into special Kamo, to be honest. So that's scary. Uh, I did not bring my fairy type. 
which I thought about bringing, and looking at this matchup, uh, get rid of the Heatran and Rabami just wins, so, eh, whatever. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, the end game is Latios still. Uh, it is very good against a lot of things he has here. Uh, I'm gonna burn this, but it doesn't matter because it's special. So now I, I probably have to pick a sack. Uh, this is burned, cool. Uh, Rotom Heat, Kamo, are definitely specs. Uh, choice specs. Clanging skills. If it's not mo if it's a non-boosting nature, will not kill. Uh, do I want to take the hit? Not really. I did not put speed in for this, which I'm a little upset about with myself. Is this where I sack the Corv? Probably. I think this is just where I sack Corv. This, uh... What's it called? This, uh... Whatever the Mon in the back. The Alakazam is going to be a big issue. Because I did that. That was really stupid on my part. I, I saw that I didn't have a crazy amount for it. And I still made the play. Clanging scale, okay. So that kills, yeah. Uh, lowers their defense, whatever. Uh, the burn, yep. I could just go conk and mock punch. They don't have Crobat. That does let Zam in, but like, is it really like a free Zam switch? <laughs> Not really. Um... Mock Punch kills this, right? Like, I'm not gonna go crazy if it... No, yeah, it kills. Um... Does it? Uh, let's see, I'm not burned. 22 to a no bulk. Uh, I mean, what's the downside of going Lottie? Let's go Lottie. And, uh, I can Dragon Pulse or Ice Beam. Ooh, um... Dragon Pulse is better for T-Tar. Ice Beam is better for Whimsicott. It doesn't really matter if the T-Tar comes in on both. I'm doing little damage both ways, so I go for Ice Beam. Uh, they, switch out, they switch out. They're going to save this. Uh, they go out onto Heatran. That's fine. Uh, this will do like nothing, but I can just stay in an R Sphere because I am uh, Assault Vest. I don't mind taking the hit. Uh, they are Leftovers. I have a feeling they're going to be mad to the death on this. Heatran. Uh, let's go for one R Sphere and then see. No, no, no. I don't see. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to go. I'm. Do I... This is tough. This is tough. I'm going to go Swampert. Because this thing is so important for taking on the Zam. Any chip I take is just leading to his win con. So I don't want that to be a thing. Uh, they go, they pull double. They're going to go into Whimsicott probably. Yep. Good play. I almost went Roots on there too. And that would have been a lot of a <laughs> way better play. Uh, they're Moonblast. They're U-Turn. They're Defog. Are they Grass move on this? Would they really? Part of me thinks no. If I lose this, how big of a deal it is? kind of a big deal. I'm going to flip turn anyway, because I don't think they have the grass move. And if they do, I'm stupid. They U-turn. Cool. Yeah, I don't think they got it, so I'm calling that. <laughs> uh, they don't have a great flip turn switching, because Kamo is low. Uh, I guess Garchomp could come out, but I'm not really too scared of that. It's just that Zam. They're going to go into Kamo. Okay, yeah, I, I kind of expected that. And if this doesn't kill, which I think a flip turn into a burn will, uh, I'm going to go conk. Or do I go conk, actually? <laughs> because if this dies, uh, they get Zam for free. Which I don't like at all. I should go Lottie. Yeah, I should go Lottie. Like that, that's I don't want them getting that Zam switch in for free. At least I don't want the Conk in. Like if Lottie's in versus Zam, that's not a big deal. And that dies the burn. So yeah, that was the right play. So that's dead. Threat averted. <laughs> that thing was scary. Uh, Kamo. Uh, let's think here. They could go Whimsicott. They could go T. They could go a lot of things. 
If they go Whimsicott, I think I just go Vileplume. Or Rotom. Either or works. I think Rotom's actually better. Uh, we'll see what they want to do here. I'm not sure what exactly what the play is. Uh, best case, they go Zam and just give me damage on it immediately. I doubt they do that, but we'll see. <laughs> they go, this is a new name. This is Zam. Okay. Uh, if this is Calm Mind, it's very scary because I don't have the move. I'm going to Dragon Pulse this. If they're Calm Mind, I think I might just lose the game. They're Shadow Ball. Well, I do live this because I am Assault Vest. Uh, that, please don't be a crit. No, uh, this is just a load of damage. And that doesn't do, that only does, okay, that is about actually what I expect. Shadow Ball. Why did that do? That brought me down to the, what? That did 65. Alright, Modest, no. That might be Specs as well. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to lose this, but I don't have a great switch into a Shadow Ball, huh? Well, this doesn't, this is only here mainly for this now, so I'm just going to stay in and Dragon Pulse again. Again, I guess I could, um, I think that's Specs because Life Orb can't do that damage. Unless I missed something. That did 65, and it can do 63 max. So I think you're choiced. So I go Swamper and Flip Turn, right? Is that a play? Uh, I think I just go Swamper and Flip Turn. Yeah. Okay, um... I need a little bit more chip on that, because I don't think a Mach Punch from Conk kills that. It's close, but I don't think it does. No. So I'm going to just flip turn. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he just brought dual specs against me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, if they give me this Mon, though, that is a very good for me. Uh, they switch out, yeah. I, I assume they wouldn't do that. Go back out in the Whimsicott, yeah. I flip turn. And I don't have a great offensive way to deal with it. I mean, I have the um, Rotom, which I think I'm going to have to go into here. Or I could go Conk and tank the hit. Though I really don't like that. No, that's a bad play. Let's go Rotom. Or I could go Vileplume. Uh, let's go Vileplume, actually. Because it, it's the same thing with Zam versus um, whatever. Uh, I'm going to lead sheet because I don't expect... I don't expect the Alakazam to come hard in with the health it's at. So we'll do... We'll, we'll lead sheet. I'm definitely in the back right now. Uh, if I can keep Conk around, though... Uh, they U-turn, whatever. Maybe I could get a Fex Spore. Kind of doubt it. Uh, nope. Uh, if they go Zam here, they get a kill, which is the issue. I don't think they would do that, but they could. I think they just go Heatran. Yeah, that's Heatran. Okay, so... Um, I just go Rotom. Yeah, I just go Rotom. And if they double into... I guess Zam, that's annoying. Do I have a Psychic switch in? Do I just lose the Psychic? <laughs> is a great question. Uh, this is the full. And I think, yeah, I just go Rotom. Or Swamper. Or who takes a hit better from Zam? Because you are Specs. Choice Specs, Swampert, Rotom, oh, a tank. Uh, let's go Rotom. I say tank, I don't take it well, but I do take it. Rotom, 
toxic, that's fine. So I have to use Rotom as a pivot for these mods from now on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to... Let's think about this. I kind of want to Volt Switch. If they go Chomp, that's not great though. Who do they go into? Uh, I don't think they go Zam. They could go. T they could go a lot of things, which is the issue here. Because like I want to double, but I don't know who I double into. Let's let's Volt Switch. Uh, they haven't brought out Chomp yet. They could bring out Chomp now and just be that guy. Which would be a very bad for me because I'm on a Toxic Timer. They just stay in and I'm faster. Okay. Uh, so I go Swampert here. So I don't need Land acting up now. I could have went Conk to be honest. But I think this is a better play. And I just got to pivot around. Uh, they double toxic. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, got me there. Uh, this being... Swampert and Rotom being on timers isn't annoying as long as I keep them healthy. One of them, at least. So I'm just going to flip turn. Uh, the issue is with this is that like they can always go Whimsicott and I can't get Konkin, which is a big issue. I really wanted to get Konkin. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this thing is getting chipped down a little bit, which is kind of nice, but at this point it doesn't matter too much. Uh, take the Toxic. I'm going to flip turn here. Uh, if they have Protect, that's, you know, whatever. I have Leech Eat Up. Not a big deal. I really want them to go Card Chomp on one of these turns just so I could get Konkin. Or maybe Titar, which they shouldn't. They just go Whimsicott, which is always the play. Let's see, I flip turn here. It does some damage. Was that a crit? Nope. Uh, I could go Conk to get the Flame Orb, and then pivot into Vileplume. Uh, which I would not mind having a- I would love my Flame Orb activated. Uh, let's go Conk. And then we're gonna go Vileplume. Uh, so I have this in play. The leftovers, yeah. I'm going to now go into... Vileplume or Rotom. I think Rotom's better. Let's go Rotom. Uh, I just wanted my Flame Orb again. Uh, just in case I can't end up doubling, I have to bring Conk in hard. At least I have it activated. They, they do a Moonblast like I thought they would. Uh, doesn't do too, too much. My special attack lowers. Annoying. Uh, I think I've either Volt Switch or Will-O-Wisp here. I think Volt Switch is fine. Mm, I wish I had Pain Sweat right now. Uh, let's Volt Switch. They still have too many overheat switch-ins for me to be comfortable to do that. Uh, this isn't looking good. If I, I think I really misplayed turn one with that Corv. That was really bad. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for the fire move. I almost did. Uh, this is good because it gives me conk at least, finally. <laughs> A volt switch. Doesn't do much. And now I go conk. And I think I just drain punch. It's the heatran. You're going to be spit death. You do a lot of damage, but it's fine. A conk's health is kind of important, but not like all end be all. Uh, the only drain punch switching is Whimsicott, and getting damage on that would be really nice. Uh, so I'm going to drain punch. If Whimsicott comes in, I might just stay in. Uh, again, the health on this is only really good for the, the guard chop at this point. And I guess this, but if I get rid of it, then. You know. Whew. Let's see how bulky this Whimsicott is. Or they just give me this Mon, which would be really nice. It makes my fire moves a little more free. I say that very lightly, because there's still a Chomp and a Tyranitar. I could Will-O-Wisp. That's, that's the better way. They Magma Storm. They miss. 
<laughs> I'm sorry about that. That sucks. Uh, we are we are gonna knock out the Sea Tran though. So that's cool. Uh, that is a very annoying mon out of the way. Rotom's Will Wisps are looking a lot more free, which could be very helpful for stopping a Garchomp or Titar endgame. I, I still don't think we're gonna win this. I think just Zam is just too strong. Because Zam does get a kill. That mon should come in, because it does live a Mach Punch. Because Mach Punch does 39 to 46 if it's no bulk. Uh, this comes in, that's actually fine. Uh, well, I say that lightly. They're just going to U-turn, right? Um, well, hold on. Conk's at full, basically. Whimsicott... They're not modest max special attack, are they? If I lose Conk, how bad is that? I'm on the wrong screen. Uh, kind of bad, but it's... I mean, it's pretty bad. But I'm going to Ice Punch. I think they're just going to U-turn here. And, I mean, if I get the play wrong, I, and I don't, which is good. So I, something gets Ice Punched now. Um, Zam's going to die. Garchomp's going to die. Uh, T-Tar I beat, so... Not a big deal. Cool. All right, that was a really good play for me. Uh, they're gonna go into the T tar. Okay, that makes sense. And I'm gonna drain punch this. Uh, hopefully they show an item, so I don't have to worry about like bandit or something. That does so much, which is really nice. Burn and chip. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, I'm going to drain punch this. I don't see a way this can knock me out, right? Uh, they could just go back out into the Whimsicott, but they do have to take the Drain Punch that way, which is cool with me. Uh, they withdraw. They're probably going back out in the Whimsicott. Yep. And the thing with that is that T-Tar is in range of Mach Punch now, so I don't have to take a hit from that. Drain Punch. That does so much damage, jeez. That is very awesome. I'm going to take some chip here. And now I'm going to switch this. I'm going to switch this time into either Rotom or the Vileplume. Uh, who do I switch into? What's what's the better switch? If they U-turn, they they get a kill with the uh, Alakazam. Uh, who's more? I think Vileplume is more important. So I think I go Rotom. Yeah, so we'll do this, because Vileplume is more important, because it can take on T-Tar, it can take on Chomp at full, it can take on Whimsicott. I feel like they're just going to U-turn, yeah. So I could have just stayed in and claimed a kill, uh, but that would have been risky. If I lose my Conk there, it's really bad. Because uh, now they go Zam, right? And they just get a kill. With Psychic. They go out into, yeah, Zam. Uh, if this thing didn't have Magic Guard, this game would be a lot better because Mach Punch would kill it because of the chip it would have taken. But, you know, alas. I'm going to Volt Switch on the very off chance that this thing does not kill me, but it should. Psychic, yep. So now Vileplume is also pretty important to take on the uh, Whimsicott. The only thing on my team that takes a Psychic at this point is my Swampert. So that is always the play I make. I think I have to flip turn. Uh, yeah, Psychic is going to do a lot, uh, but flip turn will kill this. I guess they might go Garchomp to get some chip. I could also Ice Punch, catching the Whimsicott. So if I can catch the Whimsicott, uh, that's amazing. That's like really good for me. Uh, that's actually really good. Yeah, that's Ice Punch. I don't think they go T-Tar. Would you sack T-Tar here? They do. Wow. Okay, so I really miss messed up. 
Wow, I'm really shocked they did that. Okay, well that's really bad. Um, whatever. Oh my gosh, that is so bad for me. Maybe not. It, it depends, because like they could. Oh my god, this dog is making noises. Like I'm gonna go hard conk here. That's my play. I could also go vile plume. Uh, but if they go in the Zam, if they go in the Zam, it's better if I'm in with conk. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. He's like biting away like crazy. So let's hope that they don't double. They should double here. Like I don't see a world where they don't. They don't. Okay, good, 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 good. That does so much damage. Well, I drain punch here, so that's cool. Uh, that doesn't kill. Right? That shouldn't kill me. It doesn't matter. I'm drain punching. If that kills me, that's bad. But I don't think it kills me. They're going for it. Uh, I should live this, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, so Drain Punch was the right play. This is dead. Um, t touch dead. We're still not in a great spot here, but it could be worse. This is a good game. Um, I'm. Let's think. Let's think about this. They go chomp. That would be an issue. I mean, anything. Yeah, there's chomp. So. They could just EQ for free. They kill me. I go vile plume. I think I have to mock punch and get damage on this. I think I lose this game. Because if I give, if I give them Vile Plume, I lose the Whimsicott. If I give them Swamper, I lose the Alakazam. I mean, they just EQ here. There's no. I'm gonna mock punch for my damage. If they set up, I'm going to be so mad. Mock punch. Rough skin. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Earthquake, yeah, so I'm dead. Alright, so that was the right play. Vile Plume's health's not crazy important, so I have to go Vile Plume here. Vile Plume. Does Alakazam live a Sludge Bomb from the health it's at? Probably not. Uh, do I have to go for Sludge Bomb? I feel like I do. I could also go for Moonblast. Moonblast does not kill Zam. If I go for Moonblast and they go hard Zam, they win. That's that's the game. Like, simple as that. I think, at least. Uh, let's go for Moonblast. If they go Zam, they just win the game. I really feel like they wouldn't do that, though. They could go Whimsicott. I could see them doing that. They sword Zam. Okay. Uh, very scary. Uh, this might not kill. This probably doesn't kill, actually. Moonblast. Nope, I think that's game. That should be game. Uh, I'm going to strength sap and try and recover this out, but I think I just lose. And I, I already know what the misplay was for my part. It was the turn one Corv play. That was so stupid. Because if I had Corv in this game, Alakazam wouldn't be nearly as much of a threat. Uh, they fire fang. Uh, do I live this? I feel like I should. I do. That's cool. Uh, FX4, I get a... <gasps> oh, that's really big. Oh, they're Lumberry. Okay, so it doesn't matter as much. <laughs> oh, if they weren't Lumberry, that could have won me the game. Because I could click Sludge Bomb there. That sucks. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of cool, at least. Uh, I'll get all my health back. Uh, this Sludge Bomb killed us from the range it's at. No, <laughs> it is not. Okay, um, I have the Moonblast, or I, I think I just have the Moonblast here. Firefang, whatever. Uh, I live this, of course. I Moonblast, this will die. I might win this game if they don't have a grass move. Eh, probably not. Okay, so that's dead. 
They go Zam. They kill me. And then I got to go Swampert. Tank the Psychic. I have to tank a Psychic and a Moonblast. And I feel like I'm not going to have enough health for that. Uh, lose Cot. Um, I have to Sludge Bomb here. I could not, like, okay, that's, yeah, this, I think I'm gonna take too much damage. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's just too much. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, it's, it's definitely not over, but, uh, flip turn should kill this, right? They could just switch out, and if they have energy ball, just come back in and click energy ball. That wins them the game, too. <laughs> um, so that's a thing. Uh, I just flip turn. It's the most damage I can do to this. If they switch out, that means they have energy ball and they'll win the game that way. They psychic. Okay, this will do like 75%. Yep. I flip turn. Uh, this should kill. That's dead. Uh, Swampert. Whims of cuts. I do have Ice Punch. I'm going to be at 64 HP. I think I'm too low. I'm at 33%. Um... Max special attack Whimsicott, not modest, never kills me. Ice Punch does 53 min to no bulk. Uh, we'll see here. Uh, they didn't look like it had that much bulk to them, and that they, remember, they did take that Drain Punch earlier from my um, mod. Oh, they could Encore. They could Encore, and they're actually a little bit higher than I thought. I think they're going to Encore and win the game here, because he loves that move. Uh, we'll see. Encore. Yeah, God damn it. Hoo, hoo, hoo. They don't have the grass move, but they do have that. So that will win them the game. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm I'm upset, but like that was like, just that was just good on his part. Yeah, I I can't do anything about this. Uh, GG to Matt. Uh, hoo, I guess like I could have clicked Ice Punch on Zam, but I don't think Ice Punch kills Zam from the range it was at. It, it would have been a roll. Uh, duh, duh. Yeah, we, we, we've established this. It's going to be 1-0. Uh, besides that core turn one play, I feel like I played that game fine. I'm mad at myself for making that play. Uh, it is what it is. Like, it happens. Um, and we just died of that anyway. It's a crit. Uh, if they're not invested, it, it mattered. But, like, I would need a flip turn crit, like, max roll or something like that to kill. Again, GG to Matt. Uh, go go check out his channel. His link is in the description below. Again, you guys yell at me for not... Don't schedule my battles for Thursday. Because, again, this was the most rush prep I've had in months. So, not, I'm not using that as an excuse. I lost this game fair and square. So, you know, go show Matt some love. He's one of my favorite guys to watch currently. Uh, very awesome uh, inside uh, information he gives. But we're going to move on to next week. And um, I need to end this recording because I'm really just sweating in here right now. So... Thanks for watching and I'll see you next game.